let's see, my style of cooking is to respond to what the landscape is telling me it wants to grow and to figure out a way to present these products least interrupted. The more time I spend working with Dan, the more time I spend working at Blue Hill, I realized that, that eating really was an environmental act and had huge environmental consequences. All these cultures sort of had to negotiate what the landscape could provide, eke out enough sustenance, and then cook it and make it delicious because no one could afford waste. Our history is one of abundance. We landed here on virgin soil and we had rainfall and just incredible agriculture. So we were never forced into those kind of negotiations, which, you know, has been a blessing. But the flip side of that is what's come out of it, which is a culture that tends to waste because we can afford to waste. About one in four calories of food that's produced ends up in, in landfill, which is just an absolutely staggering amount of, of calories, of nutrition. And I think the definition of waste needs to be broadened. We're too focused on what goes in the garbage, but that's a drop in the sea, literally a drop, compared to 90 million acres of our agriculture is in corn that is not directly fed to people. It's fed either through animals or we feed it into our gas tanks. Now imagine if 90 million acres was converted to a diversity of crops that we ate directly. We could feed a lot of people. Right now, Americans eat a very consistent diet of very few ingredients. We can change our diets, and if we change them thoughtfully and really respond to what the landscape wants to grow and grow well, there really isn't any waste. And, and my job as a chef is to, to see that through.